This is a Southeastern and Chatham Railway P-Class. Only eight were built, but half of them still survive. Originally, they only carried numbers, but the railway series will teach you that all engines deserve names, of course. The first to be preserved was number 323, saved by the Bluebell Railway in 1960, followed by number 27 the year after. The Lewis to East Grinstead route had been nicknamed the Bluebell and Primrose Line after the flowers that dressed the line side in spring. So the preservation pioneers affectionately named their second and third engines to match their first, Stepney. These engines always were inspired by the older Terrier tanks. 323 became Bluebell, 27 became Primrose, and in a revision of their BR Black livery, their names were painted very clearly on the tanks. Sounds simple enough, so why do people have trouble identifying them? Well, Primrose has been out of service and dismantled since the 70s. However, in 1969, the railway bought a third P-Class, which had been working at Bowwater's paper mill in Kent. Number 178 had replaced a Manning Wardle tank named Pioneer. So the mill ironically named it Pioneer II. This finally steamed again in 2010. Whilst a group is still working away at overhauling number 27, out on the line, this overlooked third sister is often confused as Primrose, having beaten it back into running order and being painted in SECR green. 178 does have an unofficial preserved name, Nettle. Wittingly continuing the plant-based theme, volunteers went as far as making nameplates as a joke. But like a nettle, since then the name has stuck with some visitors. I think the confusion of incorrectly claiming this is Primrose is due to how it's mentioned in the Railway series. In the 18th volume, Stepney the Bluebell Engine, Audrey writes they're twins and as like as two peas. This pun on the fact that they're called the pea glass completely went over my head as a child, and perhaps it did for the illustrators too. The painting shows both engines in SECR green at the same time, something that has never happened in preservation. When Audrey visited the line before 1963, both engines would have been painted black. The same year the book was published, Primrose was painted in SECR green, but apart from one brief spell in a different variant of the green livery, Bluebell has since been in a customised blue. This could be an example of the illustrators, Peter and Gunvor Edwards, basing both engines on one reference photo of Primrose, as many of their works are direct translations of photographs. Nevertheless, despite not being in the public eye in one piece for nearly half a century, in fiction, Primrose is generally remembered more than poor Nettle. There is another overlooked point about the green and blue P-Class tanks, which of course is the fact that Bluebell was the mad bomber all along. And another fact is that this trio of tank engines is in fact a quartet. The Kent and East Sussex Railway preserved the first P-Class, number 753, in 1961, after it was withdrawn from Hudson's flour mill. Even though it's individualised with taller tanks and cab compared to its Bluebell sisters, 753 is also forgotten by younger railway fans because, well, it's not a Thomas character, is it? It generally doesn't have a name nowadays, but at the flour mill, the owners did garnish it with this garish scroll work on the tanks with the name Pride of Sussex. There you go, a short lesson about Bluebell, Primrose, Nettle and Pride of Sussex. Which one is your favourite? And be honest, did you realise that there were four of these little engines still kicking about? Subscribe and become a patron to support future videos on this channel and get exclusive rewards in return. And do visit the website for the Project 27 group to support Primrose returning to Steam in future. A big thank you to all of my brilliant patrons, Alex Goodman, GBH Train, D0280 Falcon, Sean Tempest, Nat, 
Random Thomas fan. Ego. Insane Edward. Dark White 73. The Sudrian Git. And Andrew Diak. 